I've gotten to this point and I realized that I made a mistake. I actually filtered out one record too soon, or pardon me, one feature too soon. Remember I said in the initial video that I wanted to remove duplicates? Unfortunately, now that I've removed the batter, I can't remove those duplicates, right? Because that's the basis of that. So remember, we can always go back. This is a process. If I don't like the way that I've completed that process, I can go back and change it. So I made a mistake. I'm going to need that batter data. I'm going to pop that back in. We're going to run it. Okay, now, just to remind everybody of where we are, uh, if we scroll down a bit, we'll see that we've got these duplicates, right? And if you remember the original data, the first line in the entry is the total, and the two lines following are uh, basically per team. So we know that we're going to need to remove those duplicates. So let's go do that now. We can use remove duplicates, the remove duplicates op operator. It's going to say, OK, where do you want to remove duplicates from? In this case, it's a single. And so sometimes things go wrong. Oh, there we go. Uh, we can select batter. And what we want to do is we want to remove all the duplicates from batter. Right? So we're going to give that a shot. And let's see how we did. All right. We can take a look if we scroll down. All right. Doesn't look like there are any there, but you know, there's a way that we can really check this. If we want to compare the newly selected examples to the original, we can always pull the original to a result port and compare them side by side, right? So now if we take a look, let's go find a duplicate in that original data, right? So we've got Henry Blanco right here. We want to see if it removed it in our remove duplicates feature, right? So we're looking about in the 20s. If we scroll down, right, we'll see that now here we only have one record for Henry Blanco. So we've removed our duplicates.